Hi everybody, I'm Katie Cronin. I am the director of the Animal Welfare Science Program at Lincoln Park Zoo, a member of the IAZA Animal Welfare Working Group, and vice chair of the Animal Welfare Committee for the Association of Zoos and Aquariums. And today I'm going to share some information about how to be strategic with shade in animal habitats. The work I'm going to talk about today was led by Dr. Jason Mark on my team at Lincoln Park Zoo. What we set out to do is figure out a way to systematically document the amount of shade that animals had available to them in their habitats and where that shade was available. We did that so that we could make informed decisions about where to add shade to increase animal comfort. We did this by considering a map of each habitat. The map was literally a drawing of the habitat from a top-down view. You can create this by starting from blueprints or literally just walking out into the habitat and trying to get the information to scale by hand. Once you have a top-down image of the habitat, you can then start documenting where shade hits the ground. We did this by taking our paper map and pencil out to the habitats and drawing where shade hit the ground. We were sure to do it on a sunny day, and we did it once a month for a year to capture seasonal variation. On the day that we did it, we did it three times a day so that we could capture um, how shade changed as the sun moved through the sky. We then took all the maps we had drawn on and overlaid a grid like graph paper, and then we indicated whether or not shade was present in each of those grids. From that, we created images that allowed us to see how much sun was hitting the ground throughout the day and where. What you see in this image is an example from a Takin habitat on a warm month in Chicago. You can see the areas in yellow that indicate each time we documented that there was sun present, and the dark areas in blue were always shaded during the day. If you were to stop here, you'd already be able to make some pretty informed decisions about where you might want to add shade to provide options for species that are seeking shade in warmer, sunnier months. We took it a step further and used the Zoo Monitor app to plot locations of the animals in the habitats to look at alongside these sun and shade maps. In this image, you see a map created by Zoo Monitor, which is free to any IAZA accredited institution to use. You can use a handheld tablet device and plot how animals are using their space on the map. When you look at these side by side, you can see how the Takins are preferring the shaded areas. Again, you could stop here and already have a lot of information about how to place shade. But taking it one step further, we can see that in cooler months, the Takins are preferring to use the non-shaded areas. This tells us that the animals have preferred spaces in their habitat that they aren't using when it's sunny and shade is limited. So we considered this information and added a shade structure in one of the locations that the animals preferred in cooler months. Very simply put, by considering where shade falls and where animals prefer to be, you can start to make some informed decisions about how to modify habitats to increase the options animals have and their comfort.